Welcome back, everybody. This will be my second mail call, so this is the second one in uh, two days. So, sorry if I fear if I appear very, very tired. I am very, very tired. I was up at five o'clock this morning with like maybe five hours of sleep, and I did a full work day, and then I um, mow my mom's lawn. So I'm a little tired. So but anyway, I want to do this video just because I got this stuff in today. So actually, what I'm gonna do first? So. These are not cigars, but this is a very central thing to keep in cigars. These are humidity beads. So these are actually called, they're heart felt beads. Where you can see these. So these aren't like the silica beads that you find in, um, I don't know if they're silica, but like the beads that you find for um, a lot of other places where they're huge, huge beads. Well, those, they just release humidity. They actually don't absorb humidity. Or these guys will actually, they'll go both ways. They'll absorb and they'll let off humidity. So that way it, it's better control. And these guys work really, really good. This is like a half pound. And these was $20, I think, for a half pound. And that's a lot of beads. I mean, I could probably do, I have a 50 count humidor and then I have a about a 50 count uh, tubador. You know, and I could probably easily do both of those with maybe a third of these beads. So very nice. And actually I got the, this is, they come in three different, um, Humidities. They do 60, 65, and 70. I got this 65. See a little red mark there. I was keeping mine at 70, but I've been noticing a few burn problems with, especially like when my, my Maduro is more than normal. And a lot of it has to do with during the summer here. Um, we get a, our humidity actually gets really high many, many days. Oops. So to kind of negate that, I'm going to keep my cigars slightly drier. So when I come out here in a higher humidity, they'll hopefully burn better. So that's my logic, which I mean, it makes sense. So that's the humidity beads. So and they're the heartfelt beads. So I really highly recommend them. They work really well. And secondly, I got four cigars in today. And the only reason I got four is because that's all I can afford from them, from them. But I mean, hey, it works. So. I got two sticks from the House of Emilio, which I love them. They're fantastic. So I got the Ezra Zion. It's the FHK. All right. It's like a Churchill size, I believe, is what I ordered. So very, very nice. And then this is the Emilio Series H. So it's a Maduro. Everybody can see that. So very nice. I'm a big fan of Maduros. I really like the AF1. The AF1 was very, very tasty. So I'm hoping this thing is right there with it. Now, I got two cigars, which were actually, they're the same cigar. They just have a different wrapper on them. It was actually recommended to me by my local store. They don't carry on them. They've been trying to, well, the manager's been trying to get the owner to get them. But he says no still, so you got to always listen to the boss. So, these are called the Nymphomaniacs. Let me see here. I can't remember what, the, I, what this shape is actually called. It's tapered at both ends, and it's very skinny. You know, it's like the size of, like, a Lancero. But it's super skinny. So I think this thing is like a, um, I say it's like a 38 ring gauge, something like that. But it's, it's pretty long. It's probably about six and a half inches long. So they're pretty long and skinny. So they're, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. So they're seven by 33 is what they are. So, and I got one, one's the natural, which is this one right here. And then the one in dark, which is right here, which I don't know. They didn't say if it's a Maduro or not. It could just be a dark Habana. I'm not really sure. So this is what I got for these. So that's all I got for today. But I got them in, so I wanted to show you guys that. And I believe that's everything I have coming so far for this month. So I actually have a whole bunch of scars now, which I mean, most of them are the um, the Rosa Cubas. But those are just gonna be like my chill out, just sit out here smoke, and I don't really have to think about them. Which will be nice, but you know, just change things up. I have the half a box of the nub um, Cameroons I got in, and then maybe next week I have a little bit of money coming in. I might go splurge a little bit, maybe, maybe just a smidge. I might splurge, go get a few more things. So, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm actually gonna sit back with a uh, Rocky Patel Edge and just kind of mellow out. Have a good night, everybody, and God bless.